Welcome to CSET Biology TCP. I am Mr. Wilson from the TCP Academy. You can find us online at tcp-academy.teachable.com. Today we're going to be doing the Human and Social Biology Paper 2 for January 2022. We're going to be looking at question number two for this video. We will look at other questions in other videos. So you want to ensure that you like, share, and of course, subscribe so that whenever these videos become available, you will be the first. It's January 2022 that we're going to be looking at. Let's get right into it. Last year, many students differed on their CXC exams as they were afraid of failure due to their level of readiness. This year, Mr. Wilson and his experienced team from tcpacademy.teachable.com is here to help you get exam ready. Subscribe for free to tcp-academy.teachable.com. We offer courses in CXC Biology, HSB, English Language, and many others. There are several offerings to each course. Enroll in one today. In the human body, cells divide by mitosis or meiosis. State the number of chromosomes in each of the following human cell. Now, the sperm cell is an example of the autosomal cells, which goes through the process of meiosis, which would, of course, have the number of chromosomes. So, of course, the number of chromosomes here would have been 23 of the 46 that we find in human. In the cell of the pancreas, that's a somatic cell. So it would have gone through the process of mitosis, are pretty much representing the full number of chromosomes is passed on. So that would have been 46 chromosomes, which is a body cell, while the sperm cell is, of course, a figure one chosen number image representing four stages involved in the process of mitosis. Now, looking at the pictures, you want to make sure that you can get a good grasp of the photos or the diagram. Middle, M, usually, this is metaphase. When we're seeing the cleavage here, it's usually telophase. And as we see the chromatids moving to opposite sides of the cell, away, anaphase. And then the first phase of mitosis, where the chromatids become, our chromosomes become visible, that is, of course, uh, prophase. So we know we can use a formula IPMATC, which I stands for interphase, which comes before mitosis. C stands for cytokinesis, which comes after mitosis. And mitosis is actually the PMAT. Prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase. Or you might want to look at them as phases. So in putting them in order, we're going to put P first. That's going to be four. And then after P, we're going to have metaphase, which that's going to be I. And then we are going to be having anaphase. That's going to be three. And then we're going to have in finally telophase, which is going to be two. So here we have the answers on the line. Remember your IP mat C, M there, metaphase. They are lined up along the equator in the middle, M for middle. A, they are moving away from each other. Telophase, it's the only phase that you're going to be seeing some cleavage taking place. And cleavage here speaks to the depression right here on both sides. It suggests that the cell is now dividing. Right? And then the first phase will appear anything like this, showing that these are now visible. Let's move on to the other question. Get help with CSET Biology SBA Labs and Human and Social Biology SBA Labs at tcp-academy.com. Tim had questions. He wanted to know where he could get help with his SBA Labs. His parents searched but could not find that experience. Tim also made some calls however could not find the help he needed. Tim needed an experience he could trust to help him get over the hurdle of SBAs as success was in sight. He met the guides from tcp-academy.teachable.com and they designed a program to help him. T 
tcp-academy.teachable.com was able to help him, so too they can help you. Sign up tcp-academy.teachable.com for help with your SBAs in biology and human and social biology. Outline one difference between mitosis and meiosis. Now we could look at many differences. One, mitosis takes place in somatic cell, while meiosis takes place in the sex cells. Mitosis produces two daughter cells, while meiosis produces four daughter cells. Mitosis does not lead to variation unless there is mutation however mute meiosis causes variation the list could go on and on so i encourage you to continue your reading even after watching this video prostate cancer is one of the more prevalent cancer which occurs in males figure two shows a comparison between a normal prostate gland and a cancerous prostate gland. There we have the glands, there we have a diagram, please peruse. So the gland to our right is cancerous and you're realizing that it is all swollen when compared to the one on the left. We're tasked using figure two, explain how prostate cancer could affect male fertility. The prostate plays a vital role in semen production. All right, so we know about the prostate gland and the seminal vesicle. They're being very important for the production of semen. Now, semen will allow or stimulate the sperms to swim or to move using pretty much their flagellum. Now, the treatment of prostate uh, cancer in most cases will lead to infertility. One such example would include the removal of a prostate gland. And when this happens, it inhibits the production and ejaculation of semen, thus retarding the movement of the sperm. This indeed will lead to sterility or infertility in men. Please be reminded, this is tcpacademy.teachable.com. You can join us for classes online. We offer classes in biology, human and social biology, and you could check out our website to see the many products that we offer. We also offer guide or help for students who are doing SPAs. It's not too early to register for the new school year. And it's not too late to register for a marathon. It's not too late to re register for our lab classes. So make sure you choose. As a result of untreated chlamydia, Mary Jo has blocked fallopian tubes. She now finds it difficult to conceive. Explain why Mary Jo would have difficulty conceiving as a result of blocked fallopian tubes. Now, one will identify with the fact that the egg having been released from the ovary will travel up through that fallopian tube on its way to the uterus. If a fallopian tube is blocked, then it means the egg will not be able to travel as it would have. If a fallopian tube is blocked, then the sperms would have it, some difficulty getting to the egg for fertilization. If there is no fertilization, then implantation and the whole idea of pregnancy, that too will be retired. 
Now, if this happens, it's going to create this problem that exists with her being unable to conceive. Thus, I encourage us, whenever there is a problem with these organs, whenever we feel sick, whenever we know that something is wrong, please reach out to our doctors or to your doctor. The other part to this question suggests two other causes of female infertility. A woman could become infertile by having a sexually transmitted infection. One such example, gonorrhea. A woman could become infertile as a result of induced abortion or an abortion procedure that was not done properly. So eight of these two could cause a woman to become infertile. That takes us to the end of question number two. You want to like, share, and follow so that you are going to be the first person to see the answers for the other questions on this paper. Until next time, take care and be reminded you can join us for classes, you can join us for marathon, and you can join us if you need help with your SBAs, be it biology or human and social biology. Thanks so much for joining. I'll see you around. Last year, many students differed on their CXC exams as they were afraid of failure due to their level of readiness. This year, Mr. Wilson and his experienced team from tcpacademy.teachable.com is here to help you get exam ready. Subscribe for free to tcp-academy.teachable.com. We offer courses in CXC Biology, HSB, English Language, and many others. There are several offerings to each course. Enroll in one today. Get help with CSET Biology SBA Labs and Human and Social Biology SBA Labs at tcp-academy.com. Tim had questions. He wanted to know where he could get help with his SBA Labs. His parents searched but could not find that experience. Tim also made some calls however could not find the help he needed. Tim needed an experience he could trust to help him get over the hurdle of SBAs as success was in sight. He met the guides from tcp-academy.teachable.com and they designed a program to help him. tcp-academy.teachable.com was able to help him. So too, they can help you. Sign up tcp-academy.teachable.com for help with your SBAs in biology and human and social biology.